Discuss MS asked the following question. We know that we dip an apple in the honey as a symbol of having a sweet new year. We eat the head of a fish as a symbol of, of, of wanting to be a head and not a tail. He asks, but why aren't these themes in our prayers? Why don't we find in our machsar, let us have a sweet new year? Why don't we find in the Rosh Hashanah Tfilos the fact that we should be a head and not a tail? Why are they exclusively expressed through symbols and not expressed articulated through a prayer. And the Sfas Emes answers that the reason why you use symbols instead of a prayer is to show that those concerns are de-emphasized. The symbols are, are to be there to de-emphasize their importance. The primary concern of Rosh Hashanah is, as we say in our tefillos, because it's a day in which Hashem was first perceived as a sovereign. We yearn towards a time in which ultimately Hashem is recognized by all humanity as being the source of moral law. And all humanity strive to, to, to perfect themselves and live godly lives. As we say in the Tfilos, V'yasu kulam aguda echas. May all humanity become one, one band, one family, uh, fulfilling, fulfilling, showing respect and fulfilling God's will. That's a primary goal in Rosh Hashanah. Of course, we have material concerns as well. So then we, we express that rather through a symbol instead of through a prayer. We use a symbol to say these are, these are less important than our primary goal, which is to bring, ab bring about that perfected world. So as we approach Rosh Hashanah, we have a whole litany of requests and aspirations for the following year. This perspective is saying, let us look at the new year with, with the, the goal of helping to perfect ourselves, helping to perfect our families, helping to perfect the world as our primary concern. Our primary concern. Of course we have material concerns, but those ultimately are just means to an end. So that our ultimate goal of, of doing our best to help perfect our character and help to perfect the world's character. And they all have a very wonderful Rosh Hashanah.